been less than a year since Kingdom Under Fire The Crusaders was released, but Fanagram is already bringing us an update to the series with Kingdom Under Fire Heroes. Heroes is essentially the exact same game as the previous one, but with some new campaigns and much better online play. The game takes place in your typical medieval fantasy world where humans, orcs, elves, and even vampires share the land. But they don't do so happily, of course. When racial tensions flare, a war breaks out, and you have to take to the battlefield to claim victory and uphold your honor. The story here is pretty weak, and the characters aren't all that interesting. The translation is absolutely terrible, to the point that it does kind of get in the way of the story. That doesn't matter too much, though, since the gameplay is still as addictive as ever. There are seven campaigns to choose from in Heroes, although four of them are locked at the beginning of the game. Once you choose a campaign, you can start fighting. Just like in the last game, you'll have to split your time between managing troops on the mini-map and fighting enemies on the battlefield. When your main character is engaged in battle, you take control and the game plays like your average Dynasty Warriors type of game. But even when you're fighting, you'll need to keep an eye on your other units. The mix of strategy and action makes for a fun and exciting game. The controls are simple enough that you'll pick them up fairly quickly even if you haven't played the previous game. You have to be quick to command units and fight in the thick of a massive battle but the game doesn't feel too cumbersome or tedious at all. The best moments in Heroes are the huge battles. There are often dozens of characters on screen, from orc X-Men to elven archers to giant swap mammoths and flying airships. The game gets the feel of battle just right. It's not overwhelming, but it's definitely crazy. When you aren't fighting, you can customize your units. You can choose skills, level up your characters, or even change the job of each of your units. You can upgrade infantry to cavalry or archers to longbowmen and so on. There are also some new elemental units you can command, which take a bit of work to get, but they're super powerful. The biggest improvement in Heroes is the online play. You can battle up to six players on Xbox Live. You can have a six-player free-for-all or divide up into teams and take to the battlefield and get involved in all kinds of crazy chaos. There are plenty of battlefields to choose from as well, although they are a bit plain compared to the single-player stages. We did notice a little bit of lag when playing with a full six players, but if you have a good internet connection, you'll definitely have a ton of fun playing this game online. Everything in Heroes looks about the same as in the Crusaders. The frame rate does dip a bit once in a while, but overall the battles look just as you'd imagine them. The characters are all detailed and the battlefields look great, although the fog is pretty thick so you can't see too far off into the distance. The crazy hardcore death metal soundtrack returns here, and if nothing else, it definitely keeps things moving on the battlefield. Your appreciation for the music will depend entirely on your musical taste, but don't expect to get some lavish orchestral score here. Overall, Kingdom Under Fire Heroes is pretty much the same game as the Crusaders, but the new campaigns and improved online features definitely make it worth playing, whether you played the previous game or not. 